Woodland seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught you in my investigation. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. I'm cheap and I'm clean. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed? Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Sure. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities, but I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Reed. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. Why are you sad, then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I liked books. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. 
I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. You'll feel better with this, but you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? You again? What do you want this time? Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. I know it's hard to believe, but this district has always been wretched. Maybe it's time to see if this... Dr. Reed, still conducting your nocturnal survey? Is it true you were dropped in rank? Tell me about it. Yes, it is. I made a terrible mistake. I deserved it. Sometimes I think I should have resigned. So why are you still working here? Because I'm a damn fine copper. I just don't want to have someone innocent hung again by mistake because of me. The death penalty is a great shame. I agree. 
I'm convinced all civilized nations should abolish the death penalty. Maybe after the war, once that bloodshed is over, the survivors will change that. Why do you think there shouldn't be a death penalty? I believe no one should decide to take a man's life. Not a nation or a government. Are you a pacifist, Inspector? No, sir. But I believe in divine justice. Only God has the right to decide who will live and who must die. Do you need medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. You'll quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Come <laughs> on. 